I love that view. I absolutely love that view. Um, hey, how you doing? It's James here again. Uh, I thought I'd bring you out here again. Uh, this is actually only a couple of minutes after the last video, and I wanted to give you another message on how you can create videos online that really, really connect with your audience. Now, come with me. I want you, I want to show you something just over here. Just got to go through very deep snow here. I want to show you something that I think is quite simply phenomenal. Look at this. Hang on a minute. This beautiful bridge over there that just meanders along this icy river. Over there, you can see my house. Not the Oast houses. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> but there's this beautiful river that just goes under this bridge and I saw that the bridge is reflected in the icy still water and I just thought it looked tremendous so I, I wanted to show you that because I just think it's so beautiful and um, I'm negotiating incredibly thick snow underfoot here just take, take a look at this and stupidly enough I've got jeans on which is not a smart move <laughs> but uh, the tip is this whenever you're doing a video if it's um a video designed to connect with your with your prospective customers and your customers like this one is to share your environment first maybe it has something to do with uh, Robert Diltz who's a great NLP trainer and one of the originators you know work with the originators of NLP in the old days he created something called the neurological levels or something like that I'd love to say I'm completely educated but I'm not <laughs> But at the bottom of the, of, the, of the levels, and it's arranged like a pyramid, is environment. And one of the things I find, and I think it has to do with helping the human brain feel safe with its surroundings, is if you can, in your video, share where you are first, your environment first, you'll notice in any of the, if you're familiar with the videos I put out online, you'll notice I very often let you know where I am first. And it, it does something wonderful to the viewer. It kind of cools their brain down a little bit. Makes them feel a bit safer. I know it sounds weird. Like even if you're just in an interview in a hotel. But let somebody know where you are first. It calms the brain down. And the, the receiver of the message understands where they are. Like I said in this video I told you we're in the valley. In the southeast of England. We're just down from where I live. Just over there. And we're in this wonderful field that I come walking in quite a lot. And by doing that and by sharing my environment with you first, you get an idea of where, of where I am. Now, here's the funny thing. At a level that we're not aware of, our brain feels that little bit safer. I know it sounds weird, but it's true. Our brain actually feels safer as a result. And when your brain feels safer, you're more receptive to the message that follows. You're not, you're, your brain isn't doing that questioning, where am I, where am I? So um, bear that in mind, you use that tip, it's a top tip. Whenever you're doing a video, let somebody know where you are and share your environment with them first. Their, their brain will appreciate you for it. I'll see you on the next video.